Hi guys, welcome back to y'all hearing this. My name is Kay. Thank you so much for coming and checking us out over here on Patreon. I am excited to get into another lore video today. I've been checking out different storylines in K-pop groups, and today we are checking out Twice. Um, so this one, I don't believe they have an overarching like storyline, uh, but we I went into Bookish Theories, um, who I love, love her stuff, um, and it looks like breakdowns of different MVs. So we're going to watch a couple, um, I think four videos all together. Uh, there are more, so, you know, we'll do like a part two, part three down the road or whatever. But, uh, but yeah, I'm excited. So we are going to do, let's look, we're going to do uh, Feel Special, uh, Fake and True, uh, More and More, and I Can't Stop Me. So without any further ado, let's get into it. You make me feel special. Hello and welcome back to Bookish Theories. In today's video, I would like to talk about Twice's newest song, Feel Special, focusing on a little breakdown and analysis of the lyrics, the to music video, like and how happy ago. I am to see Mina again. Right after the video came out, JYP released the news that Mina would not be participating in the promotion, and I feel like this is the right choice if she doesn't feel ready yet. As we'll see in just a second, the song is especially meaningful in this situation, and just the fact that she wanted to be part of it is more than enough. Feel Special is a song that focuses on the importance of friendship and love in a difficult situation, and it deals with the themes of loneliness, sadness, comfort, and the strength love can give you when overcoming your hardships. The title was first foreshadowed last year in Mina's intro of Young and Wild, which is a song that Che Young helped writing as well. I feel like this is no coincidence because one of the most important aspects of the music video is the friendship and support the girls give to one another, which is something that makes this comeback particularly personal and poignant. At the beginning, Che Young opens the song by expressing a feeling of loneliness and inadequacy. Even if this doesn't happen every day, there are times when she feels lonely and out of place. These lines are paralleled by the shots of her in an empty white dome, which is a setting that further reinforces the theme of isolation conveyed in the lyrics. Che Young's lines are followed by Chewy and Momos, who sing that when they feel that way, having someone next to them that comforts them makes them transform into someone special, meaning that from nobody they become somebody. This line is very important because it implies that happiness and self-love are the result of the love and support other people give them. And because of that, the song may also be seen as a reflection on their experience as idols and their relationship with onesies. If you look <laughs> closely, the words nobody and somebody are also written on the signs behind Sana. In the scene, nobody is spelled backwards, meaning that you can see it correctly only by coming from behind. This may mean that in the past they were nobody and now they are somebody, but this transformation could only take place thanks to the love and support you gave them throughout the years. This feeling is also reinforced in the chorus, where Twice expressed the idea that you make them feel special even when hurtful words bring them down. The fact that these lines are sung by Sana is no coincidence, because it may be a reference to the recent backlash she received after talking about the end of Japan's Heisei era. The idea here is that love and support makes you feel special and appreciated. The attention is focused on the healing nature of love and friendship. Twice is saying that they are special because you make them special. And the feeling is mutual because just like you love and comfort them, they love and comfort you. This is obviously relevant in the relationship they have with one another as well. And the video conveys both ideas in several ways. The different sets Twice performing, for instance, are all made with very expensive materials. We see gold, marble, diamonds, and this imagery reinforces the idea that they are precious and that you allow this <laughs> to happen. The scene with Chewie is also relevant, I think. When I first saw it, the first thing that came to mind was the art and photography of Frida Kahlo. Yeah. And this was an intentional reference. Such it further highlights the idea that they are precious God, like the crown art and, everything. and feel special thanks to art. If some of the settings reinforce the positive aspects of having someone that makes you feel special, others are meant to express the loneliness and sadness that this type of support is meant to oppose. 
Cheyong's dome shows this very clearly, but the same can be said for Mina's enchanted forest, Chongyun's empty hall, and Sana and Dayeon's rainy street. Mina's lines focus on her struggle with anxiety, which is something that pushes her into isolation and makes her feel like nothing has meaning. In the video, she wanders in a forest that partially hides her from the audience, but she emerges from it when she sees Cheyong. These visuals are very telling, and they perfectly parallel Momo's lines about the positive change comfort can bring. The focus here is on the importance of the little things. A smile, a kind word, a friendly touch can really make the difference and the video shows this in the different scenarios we are being presented. If you look closely, the girls are divided in pairs. We have Mina and Cheyang, Chui and Momo, Taeyeon and Sana, Jiyo and Nayeon, and last but not least, Jonghyun and herself. Now, the scenes with Mina and Cheyang and Sana and Taeyeon primarily focus on their relationship with one another. Mina and Sana need comfort and they find it in the presence of Cheyang and Taeyeon, and something similar mm. happens in Jonghyun's scene as well. When she sees herself, she is surrounded by the other members, and this makes her feel special, thus highlighting the strong relationship they share. In the other scenes, however, the focus shifts from the relationship they have among themselves to the relationship they have with Wanzes. The shift happens during Dion's verse, and her scene with Sana acts as a bridge between the two themes. In her lines, the you that makes them feel special is compared to a shining light on a cloudy day that is so bright it's able to illuminate the darkest night. She says this while she approaches Sana with an umbrella in their hands. And what's really interesting about this scene is that the umbrella has the same lollipop pattern of their light stick. That's in oh, cool. that onces are their metaphorical umbrella. They are those who protect them, comfort them and brighten their day, and in turn, twice do the same for them. This is especially evident in Gio and Nyon's scene, where Gio is surrounded by televisions that show Nyon in the diamond room. In order to understand what's going on here, we have to look at their expressions. When Nyon is serious, Gio is serious too, but when she smiles, the other smiles as well. If we see Nyon as a representation of twice and Gio as the embodiment of once, this scene shows the connection you guys share and how important your mutual support is despite the distance. Chui and Momo's scene conveys this as well. Much like Nyon and Gio, the two are divided by a screen too. But when they see each other, they cannot help but reduce this distance by getting as close to the screen as possible. <laughs> the idea here is that even if you are far, you are still close. The comfort that you give to one another is stronger than distance because just by knowing that you exist, you make them feel special. So that's it for me today. I hope you guys cool. enjoyed the video and if you did or have any requests for future ones, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you so much for watching. Feel special guys. Bye bye. Hello and welcome back to Bookish Theories. <laughs> In today's video, I would like to talk about Twice's latest Japanese pop, Fake and True, focusing on a little breakdown and analysis I have not of both heard the, the song yet. and the music video. Fake and True is a song that deals with the desire to fulfill your dreams by staying true to yourself instead of settling for something fake and untruthful. The song begins by stating that hoping for a goal to come true will make you end up with an unquenchable thirst. As the lyrics suggest, this is a true statement. Twice here is saying that when people want to fulfill their dream, they tend to get obsessed by it. And this obsession can lead you to compromises you never thought you'd make. This is something that happens very often in life. But in the second verse, they advise you not to settle for anything less than what you deserve. You have to believe in your intuition and be strong, because you shouldn't decide your limit. By limiting yourself, you set yourself up for compromise. But if you set yourself free, then you'll be able to shine. In the chorus, they ask how long you've been questioning what's fake and what's true. But they also push you to reach out instead of giving up, because that's the only way you figured it out. If you don't believe in yourself and only focus on negativity, your dream will stay a dream forever. But if you open your heart, that is, if you're honest with yourself, then you will understand what's really true. At that point, everything becomes clear. By rejecting negativity, you can surprise yourself and find satisfaction in your work, like a canvas starting to color. Inside you, the answer is already there. You already know what's fake and what's true, even if sometimes it can be difficult to tell them apart. Mm -hmm. This idea is perfectly conveyed in the music video, when we see the girls in scenarios that reflect the dual nature of the entertainment industry. 
At the beginning, we see the girls standing in the dark in the middle of a lounge area that looks like an eye. A voice tells them to take a seat, and when they do, the camera zooms out to reveal that the scene is taking place inside Mina's eye. Right off the bat, this is very telling, because the video visualizes the idea that the truth is in the eye of the beholder. Mm. The focus here is on perception, what's real versus what we think is real, and how the idol industry can distort the truth by making us believe in a lie. This is evident by the constant attention the video puts on the girl's eyes and on the VR headsets worn by Mina and Jonghyun. As the video progresses, the settings are revealed to be fake. They looked real, but they are not, and this is the point of all the MV. The way the opening scene is shot, for instance, suggests that in Mina's eyes, twice are being controlled. They are puppets waiting for a command. But is this fake or is this true? Well, let's find out. In the video, each member is associated with a specific aspect of what we think their job entails. We start with Mina portrayed in a luxurious environment. The dominance of white and glass here implies purity and fragility. But their scenes are also focused on water, which is usually used to reflect a person's state of mind. In the video, we see her surrounded by floating drops that fill the room. And on the table, we see ice melting. Her scene possibly symbolized the contrast between external wealth and inner struggle. The fact that water appears only after she wears the VR headset may imply that this is the virtual reality the audience sees when we think of her, surrounded by beauty but still struggling despite the wealth. This is possibly confirmed by her scenes in the dark environment. The black background suggests that that's reality, but there's also the light that shines on her while she is in a praying pose. This means that despite the struggle, she still shines, possibly because of the love and support she is receiving. Next up we see Momo, and her setting is a giant camera flash. Her scenes represent the glamorous aspect of their job. Hmm. While she poses, she looks perfect, but then we cut to her holding a mask and the scene turns black and white. Momo's scenes here are linked to the beauty standards idols have to live up to, to the contrast between the persona we see in pictures and the person hiding behind it. When she holds the mask, her face is partially obscured, and this is important because it shows us that what we see is only her mask. The real Momo is hidden behind it, because nobody can look that perfect all the time. This yeah. is something that Momo herself addressed in a recent live, thus confirming that once again what we see is fake and what is true is hidden. After Momo, we have Jonghyun surrounded by gold, and her scenes represent wealth. In her setting, the chandelier looks like golden microphones. And this could imply that huh. for her, music is a source of wealth and success, what allows her to be in the spotlight and the reason she is surrounded by gold in the first place. This is what we think her life is, but it's fake because the setting is a hologram and when she breaks the chain, pills and pins fall on the floor. The pills and the pins could symbolize the reality behind the gold. The pins are something that we use to fix outfits, while hmm. the pills could be vitamins or supplements they have to ingest. Next up we have Sana, who is sitting in a setting <laughs> yeah, that's a press Yeah, that's an innocent take on that Behind one. Behind her we see TVs that show her face and the scene is decorated by a psychedelic jungle. Her scenes represent press and publicity. The fact that she is surrounded by the jungle may symbolize the wild, colorful and at times confusing world she lives in. But there's also the chameleon to take into account, <laughs> which conveys the idea that they transform in accordance to the environment they are put in. <laughs> the fact that by the end of the video she is the one holding the camera is very important, because it implies that there are active agents in this jungle. Their image is not something that's always imposed on them, but something they create themselves to survive in the industry. After Sana, we have Chewy in a pink room full of mirrors. Her scenes represent beauty and femininity, which are attributes she is strongly associated with in real life. While there are many reflections, the one that holds the pink Gerberas captures all the attention. This is important because if on the one hand those flowers symbolize femininity and high esteem, on the other, the fact that the focus is on that particular mirror implies that people tend to see her and praise her only for her beauty without considering the other parts of her that may be reflected in the other mirrors. Mm. Next up we have Nayon, who is literally on display like a mannequin. At first, her scene looks very worrying. She is trapped in a display window and surveillance cameras record her every move. But then we see her spraying perfume and exiting the window freely, which puts everything into perspective. Her scenes represent the commercial aspect of their job. 
ads, endorsements, promotions, everything related to their image being used to sell us a product. Once again, the reality we see tricks us. At first, we see her on display, we see the cameras and we get worried. But she is able to free herself easily because she knows what she is doing. By now, you should be able to notice a pattern here. In all the scenes that I described so far, the girls have some kind of agency in what they are doing. It's Mina who is showing us her struggle, Momo who removes her mask, Jonghyun who breaks the chain, Sana who holds the camera, Chui who looks at herself, Nayeon who puts herself on display. These are all indicators that while some things are fake and some are true, the girls are those who decide what to show and when to show it. A certain degree of falsity is part of their job, but the fact that this video exists tells you that they are reaching out, just like they say in the song. They are telling you loud and clear not to get fooled by what you see, because what you see is an illusion they help create because it's their job to do so. The scenes with the polygraph seem to confirm this as well. In all those scenes, the girls are lying, but they are telling you that they are lying, which is something that paradoxically makes them truthful. This implies <laughs> that you should not believe everything you see on screen, because it's fake. The wealth, the glamour, even the way they look is an illusion, and this is why we see the glitches even on them. It's not that they are fake as people, because they are not, but their images, because it's the result of a team of people whose job is to make them look like that. The scenes with Cheyang, Jio and Dayan further reinforce this idea. In Cheyang's case, we see her surrounded by expensive handbags. Her scenes represent fashion, the presents they receive and the beautiful things they get to wear. But even that is fake, because by the end of the day, they are part of the job they don't get to keep. Same goes for Jio and the jewels. We see huge stones and we are inclined to think that that's what she plays with in her everyday life. But as it turns out, they're just candy. No, she doesn't it's have fake, a vault like full. The scenes with Diane are the most interesting, I think, because they perfectly sum up everything we've seen so far. Her scene shows her surrounded by black canvas who progressively change image as the video goes on. This is a reference to the canvas they mention in the song. That is the canvas of your life that starts to gain color the moment you start believing in yourself and appreciating your work. The focus on this painting here, however, is very telling, because it shows the temptation of Adam. In the video, the painting of Eve moves to give the apple to Adam. Then we cut to Diane and she is the one holding the apple. Now, the apple generally represents temptation, but we have to put it into context to understand what's going on. In the creation story, the apple comes from the tree of knowledge. Adam and Eve eat the apple and get expelled from heaven, but when they do, they also acquire knowledge they shouldn't have had in the first place. In the video, Diane is playing the role of Eve, tempting the audience with the fruit of the tree of knowledge. And this is because that's exactly what's taking place in the video. Twice here is destroying the illusion by giving you knowledge of truth and falsity, by literally forcing you to go back to the real world and acknowledge that what you see is fake. The very last shot of the video perfectly conveys this idea. If initially the girls looked under the control of somebody else, now they are looking straight at the invisible audience who is watching the MV. This is because they are self-aware, they know what's fake and they know what's true. And now, so do you. So that's it from me today. That was really this cool. I'll need to watch really that and be. I know that's the thing with these lower videos. I feel like video. I should and follow did, them up with think about the babies or something. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. More and more. I don't think I've seen this one. Hello and welcome back to Bookish Theories. In today's video I would like to talk about Twice's More and More, focusing on a little breakdown and analysis of both the lyrics and the music video. More and More is a song that explores the eager desire that you feel when the shyness and sweetness of a new love develops into a more mature feeling of wanting more and more from each other. According to the press release that came out in relation to the comeback, more and more mixes together the nature concept and the hippie concept in order <laughs> to create a contrast between innocence and maturity. If on the one hand the nature concept is meant to convey a feeling of purity that recalls the imagery of fairies roaming around in a forest, on the other the hippie concept is meant to evoke a sense of freedom and self-discovery that introduces a more mature and bold image. But yet still goes with you the see, nature concept. at this concept. point of their career, twice are transitioning from youth to womanhood. And even if this transformation has been going on for a while now, in more and more this transition <laughs> is in full effect. <laughs> 
<laughs> from the innocent ideal that they used to portray in the past, now they are showing a more confident and unapologetic side of themselves. And this idea is perfectly conveyed in the music video, which is set in a psychedelic garden of Eden where the girls portray the role of nine Eves who not only embrace the temptation, but free themselves from the fantasy of purity they've been living in up to this point. In this context, the religious well, aspect really to the this fall concept. of man is used in a positive light because the fantasy elements that they added to it implies that this that world goes back is to meant the to and true as well. The apple. It's like a magic forest where they live as fairies and that only exist within our own imagination. <laughs> but now it's time to break the illusion and finally see the girls as real women instead of ideals <laughs> of purity. This idea is also conveyed in the lyrics of the song because at the beginning Nyan says that from now on she will not please their loved one anymore because she deserves it. Now right off the bat these lines are very interesting because if we consider the contrast between the different concepts that they are portraying, these lyrics actually imply that from this point on the girls will not play innocent anymore. <laughs> Even if this is what people expect them to do, now they won't please them anymore because they finally earn the right to be themselves. As Mina says, however, they are not worried about that because even if people might dislike them for a moment, they know you well enough to know that this won't last. Even if their loved one is initially taken aback by this change, even if they avoid their eyes, hide their feelings and run away from them, the girls know that soon enough the other person will be theirs again and they will be back wanting more and more. <laughs> Following the Eve concept, the girls here are playing the role of somebody who has welcomed temptation and is now ready to tempt in return. In the narrative that they are following in the lyrics, the love that they are singing about is a relationship that has lasted over time and then now needs to go to the next level. They want more and they want the other person to want more from them and they know that they will succeed because even if they look innocent they are more in control than what they seem. This idea is conveyed visually as well because if at the beginning we see the girls interacting with bunnies which are often associated to comfort and vulnerability, and as soon as the song again. starts the snake appears and we see Chewy surrounded by leopards which are animals that not only symbolize strength and confidence but also power and independence. Mm. Now these visuals here are meant to introduce us to the transition between innocence and maturity. The snake is obviously the animal that tempts Eve in the Garden of Eden, but in this context it can also be seen as a bringer of change. And mm -hmm. the constant presence of the butterflies in the video seems to confirm this as well, because the butterfly is a common symbol of renewal and transformation. Just like the girls are changing and growing, the song focuses on their intention to change and grow in their relationship as well. So when Jung Hyun wonders if her loved one believes that they are the one for her, Cheyan encourages them to let go of the cheesy talk because they know each other well <laughs> enough to get past that. Once again, this may not be a change that is initially welcomed by the other person. They may cover their ears, push them away and wander far away from the girls. But the girls themselves are not worried about that. Because they know that as soon as they call their names and the other hears their voices, the subject of their affection will be theirs again and want more and more. The fact that twice are in control here is also evident in Che Young and Nayeon's scene because in this part here we see the girls playing with a glittery spider web. Now this is important not only because the spider is a symbol of growth and power but also because these visuals imply that they are the spiders of this situation. They are not trapped in the web, they are playing with the web, meaning that in this context they are the ones who are trapping their loved ones within their thread. This is because, much like what the white horse symbolizes, they are now free from the restraints that constrained them in the past. As the video shows us, they beat the apple and the illusion of purity is <laughs> destroyed. So when they finally escape from the garden and end up in the real world, the dance break shows us the girls more confident than <laughs> before. <laughs> this right here the is their true self. They are not fairies and they are not ideals. They are real women and like all real people, they also have flaws. As the bridge tells us, they are naturally <laughs> selfish and they are sorry that you didn't know that, but that's the way that it is. 
Whether you like it or not, they are going to steal your heart and you will fall for them. Yeah. And they apologize for that, but they want more and more. As a matter of fact, however, they are not the only ones that will want more, because now that the illusion is broken, the girls are out to get you like a stray cat. Now they are bold, they are confident, and they are free to be whoever they want to be. And even if this is a big change, soon enough, everybody will want more and more as well. So that's it from me today. Well, it was I hope great you guys one too. enjoyed this video, and if you did, I please like the think about that liking goes into, and like, these subscribing. MVs. As always, yeah, it's really cool. thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello, and welcome back to Bookish Theories. In today's video, I would like to talk about <laughs> Twice As I Can Stop Me, focusing on a little breakdown and analysis of both the lyrics and the music video. I Can Stop Me is a song that deals with the themes of growth, insecurity and inner conflict that continues Twice's ongoing journey towards maturity. Now, as time yeah, I was say, was pointed it's not really out like a storyline necessarily, but common themes the anyway. And anxiety that come from standing on the boundary between Which is good very and cool. evil. And right off the bat, this is very interesting because, as the girls themselves have stated, the song could be seen as a sequel of sorts to the events that we saw back in More and More. You see, even if right now Twice don't have a full-on storyline that they're following in their videos, their latest releases are still connected by a recurring set of themes that heavily reflect mm. their personal growth both as Sorry. women and Literally as artists. Just said that. Back in More and More, for instance, the girls played the role of nine Eves who picked the apple and decided to leave the Garden of Eden in order to embrace the real world. That song was basically about them welcoming temptation and literally wanting more as they walked into a new stage of their life. But even if back then the focus was on the excitement that comes with this transformation, the final shot of the video also implied that this change might come with consequences as well. Now, with I Can Stop Me, Twice continued to explore this concept by proving that this concern was actually justified, because this time around the focus is not on the excitement that comes with their new freedom, but rather on the anxiety that is triggered by the fear of losing control. As we'll see in a second, both of these songs deal with the theme of duality. They are about the contrast between good and evil, youth and maturity, as well as innocence and temptation. But if more and more dealt with this concept from the perspective of girls who are exploring their identity without caring about the risk of doing so, I Can Stop Me approaches this concept from a more mature perspective, because now twice are becoming women and they're starting to understand that sometimes this freedom can also be dangerous. Hmm. Now, in the video, the idea of them entering a new and more mature stage of their life is actually conveyed since the very beginning, because the first thing that we see is the girls coming out of a giant flower floating in the middle of the universe. Now, if we consider the cosmos as a metaphor for the unknown, these visuals convey the idea that twice are blossoming into womanhood and entering an environment that is as beautiful as it is unexplored. So the song fittingly begins with an alarm going off, because because now that they've come out of their shell, the girls understand that they have to be careful. Now, in the lyrics, this sense of danger is mostly conveyed through a story about love, because in the lyrics we get the idea that their recklessness actually comes from them being ready to risk it all for a person that they just met. But if we take a look at the video, another way to interpret the lyrics might also be that this new person is none other than themselves. <laughs> Much like what we see in the video, the twice they came out of the flower sit at a table with a red line that divides them from a darker version of themselves. So the point here is that meeting this new woman is both a source of fear and excitement, because if on the one hand twice want to embrace this new identity, on the other they also know that crossing the line can be dangerous and will make them lose control over themselves. This is obviously a source of fear, because twice know that this is not right. But as they exchange glances with the other version of them, the girls willingly move away from the spotlight and get swept away by the darkness. 
You see, as we see in Sana's scene, at this point of their life, the girls are on the edge of a change. They stand at the limit between youth and maturity, and they're obviously scared to make this jump into the unknown. But as Chae Young Sin shows us, these two people are both a part of them. They're both good and evil, and both light and darkness. So the game that they're playing is a losing game, because the urge that they're fighting comes from within themselves. <laughs> Even if at first the girls try to justify their choice of crossing the line as a one-time event. Jung Young's motorcycle scene implies that this was not a choice, but rather a feeling that overpowered them and literally destroyed the line that they created for themselves. And Gio's scene confirms this idea because as we see her sitting on the line, we get the sense that this border was always meant to be crossed. If you look closely, when in the back we see a storm approaching, the glasses on the table are intact, but as soon as Jung Yeon destroys the line, the glasses are tipped over and the water on the table is compared to the waves of the ocean. Meaning that, even if crossing the line might seem like a small action, inside of them the outcome of this action has a much more powerful effect. As the song tells us, as soon as they cross the line it's impossible to come back because now they're out of control and they're overpowered by the excitement of it all. But as the video implies, this is a rite of passage that TWICE was always meant to experience because they're at a stage of their life where it's like being on a platform of a station and they have to decide which train to board. As the flower imagery implies, this is all part of the process of them blossoming into maturity. So taking the train and crossing that line is normal for people who are trying to understand who they are, because diving into the darkness also teaches them to treasure the spotlight. Mm. Crossing the line is an important step to reach maturity, so once they do so, the girls understand that this is an emergency and recognize that the person who's leading them towards the darkness is none other than themselves. As the girls tell us, even if they want to do certain things, they know that they can't because that would make them a person that they don't want to become. So this realization makes them run towards the light because now they understand that they have the power to decide which lines to cross and when to stop. Even if the song ends with them still out of control, the video shows us that despite being overcome by the storm, the train manages to stop right before falling over the edge. Meaning that even if their journey towards self-control is far from over, now they learn to recognize their limits and can stop mm. themselves whenever it's required. So that's it from me that today. Was cool. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really liked all those videos. Um... I really like bookish theories in general, so definitely go subscribe to her channel on YouTube. Um, she does a ton of different groups, so it's just really cool. And there are things that, you know, especially being a very new fan of Twice um, and just getting into them, you know, there are just things that you wouldn't necessarily pick out from the video. So it's really cool to go back and watch these. And actually, the only one that I've seen that we checked out today is Feel Special. Um, so yeah, definitely have all the others on my list to do. Uh, but yeah, I just recently watched EXO last week and then watched a video this week for Guy Group Sunday on, on YouTube. And it was neat to see what I had seen from the storyline <laughs> in the video. So yeah, it's just so cool. I really love that even without like a story behind it, uh, that twice is using these themes. And I think it's really important themes to talk about with young women, you know, it's not just them. It's so many of their fans, I'm sure that are going through kind of these same emotions and everything. So it's just so damn cool. And I've said this a million times before. I'll say it a million times again. I wish, I wish we had girl groups like this when I was growing up. We had some, don't get me wrong. But, you know, girl groups especially that really focus on being really strong women and being those kind of big role models, but not up on a pedestal, you know, they're human still, you know, ah, anyway, I'll get off my, my soapbox, but I really love these videos. Uh, we'll definitely be checking out more, uh, for twice. And as always, just a huge thank you for coming over here and checking this out on Patreon. It means the world to me that you support me in this way. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.